long-anticipated three-game series. Virginia Tech and Duke with championship implications in the regular season on the line in the ACC. Hi, everybody. Patrick Johnson along with Rain Wilson. It's great to have you with us here before our eyes in the season last year when the Blue Devils hosted the Super Regional. It's going to be over the outreach glove of Vega and Ritter with a good piece of two strike hitting. Still. <laughs> it in the air. Over is Goddard, who's playing in right field tonight for Duke for the first out. The average has ticked up quite a bit. Yeah, D1 softball player of the week. And that's going to be strike three. Curd paints the outside corner two down. Also, it's a good sign as they move later into the game. And that's going to be strike three. Back to back strikeouts to conclude the frame. One and one to Giselle Tapia leading things off for the Blue Devils. Chops this one through, and it'll be a dribbler, and both teams have the leadoff hitter aboard. Loose ring. I think early in this game, yeah, give her the green light. It's going to be ball four. They clearly didn't want to give Davidson anything even remotely close that she could get a I think um, our home plate umpire might have missed that call, so maybe a makeup call there. Driven in the air, carrying to the gap, and it will be off the wall. They're going to send the runners. The ball bounds away from the outfielders, and it's going to be Vega with an RBI double. And Duke strikes first. Now the Virginia Tech offense in the open, but don't forget about the Duke offense. This time, Amina Vega gets her hands through this one, takes advantage of a pitch over the white. Addie Green unable to come up with it. Neither is Ritter. It bounces off the wall, and Duke is able to take advantage and score first here in this one. And attacking her effectively. It's this one in the air. And it's a short fly out. Runner will stay. Easy play for Addie Green. And that's a huge out and a huge confidence booster for the freshman in the circle. At the same eye level, the same tunnel. So really difficult for a hitter to hit both. Torres has hits in 10 of her last 12 games. The ball bounds away. The run will score. Davidson comes to the plate. And Duke stakes a two zip advantage. This one just gets away from the freshman. Looks like she's going to try to go drop all again. But just gets away. When you're in control of a bat like that and you give up a run that way, then you let that last pitch bleed into the walk here. Freshman looks like she's going to try to go drop all again. But just gets away. When you're in control of a bat like that and you give up a run that way, then you let that last pitch bleed into the walk here. One just gets away from the freshman. Looks like she's going to try to go drop all again. But just gets away. When you're in control of a bat like that and you give up a run that way, then you let that last pitch bleed into the walk here. Second walk issued of the inning. So right now, Kelly Torres has rounded first base after the walk. So this is a play that Duke will run often. They're trying to steal a run. Amina Vega, as soon as the ball is given back to the pitcher, Amina Vega will take off, and Kelly Torres will at the same time. We'll see, we'll see if they keep running it. See, Kelly Torres will go. And it's this cat and mouse game, and Kelly Torres will end up at second base. So Torres diving head first. But it's not like Mazarone has been missing all around the zone. She's attacking these Duke hitters. I was going to say, it was a kind of a tight zone. It's going to be chopped. Oh, nice play made it short. They're going to get Vega in a run down. Did she die back in? Yes, she did. Base is loaded. And we'll see if Virginia Tech challenges. Really nice base running by Amina Vega there. And a nice job by Ani Rose to get, give, up, give the ball up. This one was tight. Great angle. A lot closer to home plate. She didn't give her, herself enough room to work. Ball gets away from the catcher again, and it's going to be a third Duke run. 
Vega comes in after driving in a And I can't blame him based on the pitches that I feel like have been over the plate for the Hokies. Back up the box. And that's just a mental error. Up in the zone. Skied in the air and the second out. Runner will tag and go. The ball trickles in and it's going to be a sack fly as Torres speeds home. 4 nothing, Duke. Wow. It's offense to find ways to score here. It's Kelly Torres tagging from third. Addy Green gets it in but does not get it in time to get the speedy Torres. And Duke is up 4-0. That ball gets away, but it took a bounce where it got back to the plate pretty quick. Back up the middle, bounded off the pitcher, and it's going to be an out at home. Freelich eliminated one, th uh, two on the third out as she ran on contact. The Hokies offense cranked up. Could be trouble, and it's going to be a catch for Goddard there with Vega coming out so far. And that's a four-pitch walk. Yeah, there we see the base on balls to the power bat of Michelle Chaffee. For that meeting, that funky delivery. And she will get her for her third strikeout of the night. Two down for Jaeger. She knows what Cassidy Kerr brings to the table. Got her on three pitches there. So after the meeting with Coach Young, back-to-back -back strikeouts. To and know how to improve upon it. Two for two night for Tapia. Pair of singles. And that's the third DCC player of the week after that series win at Florida State. And this one is for the gap. Going to be off the wall. Ball is retrieved, thrown into the infield, and the Blue Devils have a pair in scoring position. Davidson a double. Marissa Young, the head coach here, has done is build that house. This ball driven, and it's off the glove of Ritter. A pair of runs will score, and Vega has a three RBI game. Or is this time Amina Vega, watch how she gets her hands up and in and finds the barrel inside and, and kind of insights his inside outs this ball. But just the power of Amina Vega to hit that ball as far as she did. Emma Ritter, I think if you'd ask her, she said, I, I can make that catch 99 times out of 100. She doesn't there. And Amina Vega gets the double and two RBIs. Will is because teams still circle her name. High drive. It's deep, not, well, it's going to be off the wall. Thought that was headed out, but it got hung up in the alley. Gold slides into third. And it'll be the third run of the Blue Devil inning and will close the book on ball. Was blasted. How it didn't go out, I don't know. She just got a little too under it. I think vertically it might have gone out. I think out of gold thought it was going to go out. But when you're in a slump, all it takes is one swing. And for Anna Gold, that might have been it. As it last year, felt like she had to be perfect in games for the Hokies to have a chance. Chopper to third. It'll be bobbled there. And Torres sprinting down the line, safe at first. And we see. Gold takes off, the throw, not in time. Second time that Duke has done that, and tough start for his team in Durham tonight. And on a goal with a ton of speed, takes the right moment to go, the slide to the back half of the plate. Freelich strikes out. One away for Sarah Goddard. 
First pitch swinging, towering fly. It'll be caught by Ritter. And sliding in safely is Torres. Boy, Torres has been excellent. A huge video board. Nice pitch by Limley. Baker goes down swinging. This coming into this series. It's going to be deposited into right. And Virginia Tech for the second time and pass second. Chatfield the big shot in that one, and that'll be through for a knock for Ritter. First two aboard for the Hokies. Strikes out. And that's a handful of them for Curd here in the game. That time. Cute on the ground. Nice play by Gold at third. And she'll get the runner at second base. Well, for now, the third base umpire is in charge of that call. Hit the opposite way off the wall. Virginia Tech will plate their first run. And that is Peck with a run scoring double. Really nice swing here by Bree Peck. Controls her move forward, finds a barrel on the outside edge, and goes with this pitch. And hits a double off the wall. A huge hit for Virginia Tech, but an even bigger play the play before when Anna Gold. Double digit hits per game this season. Hit high in the air. It is back, and it is going to be off the wall. Freelick can't get it. Three run homer. Virginia Tech back in the game just like that. But the story is the power and the strength of McMillan. Many thought would be a pop out. Just gets over the right field fence. A play that Francesca Freely definitely wants back. But if you're the Hokies, you're right back in this thing. Part of the reason that they have had so much success hitting the softball. And that'll be the second walk drawn by Chatfield. Hokies happy to have the base runner. Counting the zone with strikes. That'll get through. Chatfield, now Luco aboard, and the Hokies are having a huge top of the third. Ball, three balls. Lily Walker so comfortable with her back against the wall. Clean count here. She faces Jaeger, who gets under it. And that'll be the final out. So Walker comes in and ends the inning. But the Hokies on the board. Change up. 12th appearance of the year. And Jennings chops this one in front of the plate, beats it out. Boy, the speed of this Duke team is some program. Jaeger bobbles it behind the plate. And so Jim pass balls coming into play this weekend. She has had a pair tonight. Oh, what a play! Tremendous job by Peck to come in and dive to record the out. Wow. That could be a Sports Center top 10 nominee. Play by Bree Peck to come off the error earlier in this game and to make this kind of play dive extends and gets the out. And then it's next play. And that is an. Ball driven towards right. It is back. Goodbye, home run. Claire Davidson gets a pair back for Duke with the two-run shot. Double off the wall in the second, and here it's a bomb. Grizzard misses right over the white, and Claire Davidson this year, she'll make you pay. Perfectly on timed, powers it over the right field fence, and lengthens the Duke lead 10-4. or rather the first time it happened since the 15th at Florida State. Scored 10 in that 10-5 victory. It's going to be a catch for the out. Green years around this time in the year where the Duke bats really start to get cranked up. 
Hard chopper. Nice play by Rose. It's short, and the inning is over. She enticed the pop out by Jaeger, and whoa, what a catch that was! Jada Baker. Looks like to me, might have caught the top of the zone, might have been just up and out of the zone. But the Duke dugout giving it to our home plate umpire. Yeah. Little dribbler out to second. Out there, they can't get the turn. But Ritter is the first run off the RBI double for Peck, and then it. There's a ball back to White, or Walker rather, and she makes the play, and... All of the energy coming from the Hokies offense. Line drive, and Torres has reached all three times. That's her first knock. <laughs> Two aboard, Virginia Tech also had a Seekers are kind of look to the dugout and say, hey, say, wait a second, but nothing said by Pete DeMore. And it has been a tough night for Jaeger as the backstop. So another pass ball, the third of the game. Wow. Bunt laid down. All bases are safe. Wow, that was outstanding. She couldn't have rolled that out there any better. Two runners, but she gets a single for herself. Knocked in by Baker is one. Now a second run on a really strong throw. And that was a little bit of an awkward swipe. She might have been avoiding the bat there. By Jada Baker, controls her move forward, works down in the zone, and just goes with it right up the middle. Emma Ritter comes up throwing, but Zampa with a ton of speed. And the awkward slide tries to do the slide around and tap. Her teammates are giggling. Georgia Tech in the top of the sixth over Syracuse. Look at the Sky Top Softball Stadium and top five is, that's a strikeout, Jennings. Soft liner drops through. And another run scores, Goddard comes home. Three in the inning for the Blue Devils. This one, another line drive, and it'll be into the glove of McMillan. Tagging and scoring is Baker, and then Tapia takes second. So Davidson, also a three RBI evening. Yeah, and we talked about giving her a steady diet of the changeups. There, she just drives it out to right. But the base running by Duke. Of course, Baker scores there, but for Giselle Tapia to take that. And nobody on the base. Or nobody on base, or no bodies. Will reach out and tap. Almost got it over. It looked like, but then Rose quickly back as it hung up in the air long enough. Little nubber played by Toppy at first. One down. It has not been the first game of a series that has been the issue for Duke. It's been. Towards the gap, and it is out of here. McMillan, a two-homer game, a solo shot this time, and she'll touch them all as Virginia Tech gets. Stay hot, Corey McMillan. She makes this look entirely too easy. Lily Walker is going to miss over middle away, and it's a line drive for McMillan as she kills time. Finds a barrel, really nice launch angle, and hits a line drive over the fence for the Virginia. Oh, what a play by Gold. Across the diamond, two down. What a gold star by that one. Luco strikes out in the Blue Devils. Race out to 1-0 in this huge series in the ACC.
Yeah, Patrick, we talked about the Virginia Tech offense in the open, but really it was the Duke offense tonight. It was power early and often, a steady stream of runs for this Duke team. It was the base running. It was taking advantage of the extra 60 feet.